Hello everyone, this is JP aka Sakura Hertz and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can do this in serial. So, first things first, this is a new feature and you will need the latest version of Serum for this. I will be using this preset of mine as a base and we will be applying the effect on top of it. So here I have some cards uh, that I put down as well. And we are going to start first by uh, shaping an envelope. So I would do something like this initially and make sure to uh, map it to everything that you want to control and make it trigger mode maybe set it a bit faster and here's the secret this is the new feature of serum you right click and you go to modulate x lfo bus and we're just gonna assign it to a macro and what this does as you see is that we can now modulate this So we are going to name this first one X and we are also going to modulate the Y parameter, right? And we are going to send it to the second LFO bus and on macro 2, I'm going to call it Y. And now as you see, we can control both of them. And we can also change how much uh, that is being modulated by going to the matrix and you can do like this, right? So now what we are going to do to make things a bit easier to control is to add an XY controller. Now the XY controller is optional, but it makes things a lot more intuitive to control. So first I set the speed to maximum so that it will follow instantaneously. And now we're going to go here and just play with this, then go to tools, less tweaked and then go to link to controller and we are going to select the fruity xy controller on the x parameter i'm going to use the second because i had another one already loaded here and then we are going to do this with the y parameter as well and now what should happen is as you move this they move over there so let's try uh, to see what it's like in action So that is the basics of this new technique, which is something that you couldn't do in the earlier versions of Serum. And now we are going to take this to the next level. So I'm going to make some extra uh, modulations here. So the first thing is we are going to modulate this curve here because this can really change how it sounds, for example. As you can see this really changes the sound so we are going to modulate this as well so i'm going here modulate curve i will assign it to a new lfo so we can have more control and i will reset this first and let's check if it's working Now, in this case, I want to reverse this and you will see why in a second. So just make it go the other direction. And now what we are going to do is we're going to link this one to the X uh, parameter of the XY controller as well. So now as we move this closer to the left it gets the curve gets sharper as well so here is what it sounds like and already it's sounding pretty good and pretty unique and it's something that you really couldn't do with the uh, older versions of serum maybe you could find a workaround uh, the whole automating the x and y points right by just changing how much uh, your LFOs were affecting the future and, and the, the volume. But this thing about moving the curves, I really don't think there's anything, there's any way that you could have achieved a sound like that in the older versions of Serum. 
And just to give it a little bit of an extra something, we will now add another point here and make it like this and we are going to assign it to the LFO bus free as well just to save some time and maybe make it a bit smaller At this point, it's just playing around uh, and finding something that sounds good. Here, I'm using it for some simp simple future-based chords, but I'm pretty sure that the producers out there who make stuff like dubstep and rhythm and hybrid trap may find some amazing uses for this, uh, for making more complex stuff. So now I am back to the first preset that I had made. I found that the way that I set this one up sounds a bit better. Like I said, it's just about uh, practicing and seeing what sounds good, like just testing. And I went ahead and added some drums and some 808s. And here is what it's gonna sound like in Contest of a Song. And if I take out the drums really quickly so you can hear how uh, just the the preset itself sounds with the bass. And as you can see, it's an amazing way to add a bit more of modulation, a bit more movement into your tracks. It can make for a way more dynamic track. It can make for a good way to transitions from your drop into the break. And then what you can do is to record your automations. And now you can have the same automation that you were playing with. And you can also make serum dance like this. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. And if you enjoyed this, click on the suggested video to see how I made this future-based preset.